In this video, I wanna to talk to you about mind maps, a great way to visualize information and to display information in a collaborative fashion. So let's get into it. So here on my Miro board, I have this mind map app, which will let me input a CSV file. And let's go ahead and test it out. So you can see here, it has created a mind map of the Hogwarts houses. So it's actually doing this all by CSV file. So the root node is just gonna be that first uh, start, which will be the Hogwarts houses. And then the first children nodes will be the four houses. So we have Gryffindor, Slytherin, Hufflepuff, and Ravenclaw. And then the last node, which will be you know two in our CSV file, is gonna be the members of each house. So for Gryffindor, it'll be Harry Potter. For Slytherin, it'll be Draco, and so on. So uh, let's go ahead and show you another example. I will, again, select the CSV file. And here I have my mind map. So it's gonna have a few uh, more options. So as you can see, I have created this uh, Miro mind map with use cases, features, and other mind map features. Okay, now let's actually dig into the app. It's an open source app that actually parses the CSV file and populates it. It's in our app examples folder. And the main things we wanna look at is the CSV utils using a CSV parse package to actually parse the CSV file. In our app.tsx, you can see that we're using that parse CSV and then we're calling create mind map. In the mindmap.ts file, you'll see that we are creating the graph. Also, we're using this create mind map node experimental method that we have in our web SDK. What's also good to note is that we actually have a REST API version of this too. It's still an experimental, so there's still some things that are being worked through. What's really nice about the mind maps is that um, I can go ahead and create them on my own. So I have this mind map button that will create some awesome different templates, add it into the board, and I can automatically type something. Cloud vendors, uh, AWS, Azure, etc. And then I can, of course, export this if I want, which is really nice. I can also use some really nice templates. So we have some specific templates here. So I could use it pre-filled as well, which is nice. As you can see, business mind map, sales of business, HRM, things like that. So we have some cool different mind map templates you could use. And of course, you don't have to use CSV as an input. That's just one example, but you could use, I don't know, JSON or other things as inputs. And now that you've learned a little bit more about mind maps, uh, I also want to show you some other cool things that you could do in Miro, like the sequence diagrams. So I'll show you that in the next video. Thanks for watching. See you next time.